Well, I have a very important question for you to start with, though. Uh, who wins in an arm wrestling match? Alexi or Hellboy? <laughs> oh, man. That's a good question. I mean, I don't know. I got to feel like if it's right handed, it's the arm of doom, right? It's, it's uh, you know, I feel like uh, Hellboy's got that. But if, if we do, if we do non dominant, uh, Red Guardian might have a shot. <laughs> he might have the shot. Yeah, go lefty and, and take him down. Yeah. So, Southpaw. I watched you. I watched you on. Uh, uh, was it? I think it was Jimmy Kimmel, and you talked about how you ask a lot of questions, like things like why doesn't he speak Russian and stuff like that. So I'm wondering if there's another question you might have asked as as a Marvel fan here. Did you ask questions like where was where was Red Guardian during the Thanos fights in Infinity War and Endgame? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I asked those questions. I mean, <laughs> no, I. I um... Yeah, I mean, the fun thing about this entire thing is that we go back and we build out this structure for something new. There's all this new content, you know, with a lot of the information in the movie that moves forward with these other projects in terms of a new phase. And also you get to introduce these these new characters. But, you know, Kate Shortland and I had all kinds of speculations about where Red Guardian ends up, um, you know, with this and, and what what happens to him. Um, there's a lot of fun ideas that we had, but uh, I, I haven't gone directly to the source. I haven't I haven't asked Feige himself. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll do that later. <laughs> I think I think they just had to keep him out because it wouldn't Thanos would have been shaking. It wouldn't have been fair. It wouldn't have been fair to have such a specimen in that fight. <laughs> Man, I, I I love seeing you get the costume put on. Like, and, and it's 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 very like. I mean, it's it's straight up Russian Captain America. The helmet is it echoes what Chris Evans wears. The suit. Did you do anything to kind of echo any of that, or, or or like homage anything you saw Evans do? Oh, that's a good question. Um, not not really, actually. No, not really. There was some fun stuff around, like you know, his particular brand of his fighting style. It was more like about the Sambo, about different like setups and things like that. There was also some interesting stuff around the helmet itself, uh, you know, in terms of like how he would wear it or where he would wear it. A lot of times these guys have helmets where they just like touch their neck and there's like a CGI. It was very important to me that this was, uh, you know, this was like a football helmet that this guy carried around. The suit itself even was, since it's been in storage for a long time, it's like he's a product of a different generation. He's a product of a different, almost a different generation of superheroes. You know? He's very like sort of old school in his, in his ideology. So, but no, I didn't have any particular, I mean, there's, there's one moment, I'm not sure if it exists still in the movie, but there was one kind of homage, but I don't know if it, I don't know if it exactly made it in made it into this one uh but yeah well yeah well i i don't i don't think it quite made it in, so. maybe maybe we'll talk after the movie comes out and we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, be able yeah, to we, yeah yeah we can talk, i got yeah, talk, yeah, now I i'm wondering <laughs> i know i know i can't no, i wish i could say that but i can't talk about you know you bring these things up and then i got nothing to say. i hear you i know how that goes you gotta <laughs> play it safe listen in comics red guardian is a character who becomes part of the winter guard I'm not going to spoil anything. We do have maybe, maybe I'm reaching, but maybe there's references. I dig into these things and I love a theory, but uh, I want to see a big drunk bear in the Marvel universe. I want to see <laughs> a winter guard. Have you, have you fantasized about that? Have you become, become really educated on that stuff and thought about seeing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a lot about those guys, uh, Sputnik, Crimson Dynamo, and, you know, Ursa. Uh, and I think that if you watch the movie closely, I, I think you can, uh, you know, I think you can find some stuff in there. Um, yeah, I, I like, um, you know, I, I like this mirrored universe that these guys set up because we've seen the Avengers and what they can do and what the, and there's almost direct parallels in this Winter Guard to each of those characters, like Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk. And uh, I would like to see what a mirrored universe in that way would look like and what that would, how that would function in this larger phase. Oh, same. I hope you're in it for the long haul so we get to see all that. Appreciate your I'm time, so brother. Too. That's on a great movie.